today we are reviewing the Condor Messenger Bag. This is Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids. Thanks as always for checking out our videos. This product is made by Condor Outdoor. Their website is condoroutdoor.com. And you can get this messenger bag in ACU, olive drab, black, and tan. I will note as we start here that this is different than a lot of the other messenger style bags that are out there. It's different than the UTG bag that I have reviewed. It's different than the NC Star First Responder bag. And it's different than even some of the products put out by Maxpedition. But what we'll do is talk about it without anything in it and show you kind of the pockets and the different setup. And then I'll actually show you what it looks like when I do have it all rigged up as my EDC bag. Let me go through some of the details. First off, your price range is going to run you between $40 and $50. Your overall size is 11 inches high, 14 inches wide, and 5 inches deep. The largest compartment is 6 by 12 by 3. The bottom compartment is 2 by 11 by 1. The utility compartment is 4 by 6 by 1, and the ID slot compartment is 4 by 5 by 1. On the front you can see we have molly webbing here, so you can certainly attach different items or also put some small pouches across the front. Velcro strip here, then you have these two zippers. This opens up to give you access to this front pocket. No organizational structure in there, but you can certainly fit plenty of items inside that front pocket. I'll close it up and show you the other two sections. You have a zippered section here and a zippered section here as well. Let's open up the second pocket and show you inside. You have molly webbing, you have space for M4 style mags to fit those in here. And then when I turn it around, you can see there is a zipper compartment with mesh to put more items in there as well. Certainly if you're using this for a range bag or something like that, you can put magazines or other things in there. But if you're just using this as an everyday carry bag and not carrying any magazines, just more space to organize different items. Go into the third compartment, you can see lots of space in there. And just one thing to remember is that this section will be resting against your body, so you don't want to have anything that's going to be kind of jabbing you in the side while you're, uh, while you're carrying the bag, but lots of internal storage space in that section. Going back to this front section here, if you lift this flap up, you can unsnap this buckle, and now you have three more compartments. You have one here that's zippered, one here that's zippered with some plastic in the front, so you can put something in here like an ID or something that you want to see immediately when you open up this flap, and then one more section down here as well. As we look at the strap here, you can see right where it attaches to the main part of the bag, there's some more molly webbing. Nice wide strap. You do have this uh, shoulder pad, which is padded underneath, and it is removable, so if you want to take that off, the strap is fully adjustable. And over on this side where it attaches, more molly, and then you can also remove it if you want with this QD buckle. On the back, I'll show you two things quickly. First is just all the padding on this back section, so very comfortable. And it does have some, uh, some lines sewn in here just to get a little bit of airflow. And then you also have this one other strap. So if one strap is across your shoulder, you can actually put this other strap around your, uh, your waist just for more control so that the bag is not moving all over the place as you're moving. A few more things to note. There is some molly webbing on this side and also on this side as well. And then if you don't want that additional strap, you can take it off here. And then actually all the way over here, you can also take it off so that all you have is this main strap and then you can just pack this one away if you just don't have any interest in using it. And then also you do have a D-ring here if you want to attach keys or something else. So let me talk about the items I actually have in the bag now. You will recognize a lot of these items if you've seen some of my other EDC videos because I've transferred those items into this bag as I test it out and use it for a while. On the outside, you can see I do have an emergency whistle from Ultimate Survival Technologies. This is the Jet Scream. I do have my gear meter patch and then this little uh, sheep, one of my daughter's first toys. In this front pocket, just a couple things, some Bible information. I wrapped up a bag here. This is just like a Walmart bag in case I need, you know, to put trash in or whatever. And then some uh, zip ties here. I think pretty much that's it, yep, for that front section. Moving inside now, you can see I've got some business cards for Everyday Tactical Vids. In this pocket, I do have some q-tips and some batteries over here I have some gum small first aid kit some uh, bug repellent water purifying tabs and my Leatherman juice I think this is the s2 yeah juice s2 down here in this bottom pocket which uh, it is long so it'd be good for sorting any kind of cordage or something like that but in here I've got my light my fire uh, knife 
And this is, you know, so I can roll out to the woods if I want to work on some skills. I've always got a, a small fixed blade with me. I do have some wire, and then I have um, my earbuds and also my plug for my iPhone. Over here on the side, you can see I've got three different writing utensils. I have my Gerber Impromptu. That's the tactical pen I did a review on. Just a regular ballpoint pen and then a Sharpie marker. For these two main compartments, in the back here I've got my iPad, I have a journal, and I've got a book. And that's all that's in this back section. And that's because I don't want a ton of items that are going to be moving around because this back here is resting against me. So that gives me a flat surface inside that to actually rest up against uh, my side as I'm carrying the bag. In this middle section, I've got a fire starter. I've done a review on this. I'll put a link down below. I've also got some duct tape rolled onto a construction pencil. And then you've got this zippered mesh section. And in here, I've got a lot of different items. You can see I've got a little cheap poncho there. I've got a bright orange bandana. I've got a spool tool. Keep my paracord in there. I've got some uh, some wet ones. These are just to for you know general cleanup. I've got some dental floss with a couple needles on the back, and I've got my Tide to Go stick. And then the last thing, I've just got some uh, acetaminophen, basically Tylenol, ibuprofen, those types of things. And that's everything that is in the bag. So that's it for the Condor Messenger bag. As usual, I'll report in after a while and let you know what I think about the bag, uh, if it's still getting high marks from me. At this point, I do like the number of pockets it has and how it actually organizes my gear that I'm carrying in the bag. And then additionally, I like the way that the strap rests across my shoulder. It is quite comfortable. But again, I'll use it for a while and then let you know if it still gets high marks from me. Thanks as always for checking out our videos. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids here on YouTube. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check us out on Tumblr. More videos coming soon. Take care.